Hello Patriots and welcome back to the Patriot Dad channel where we can discuss current events, modern issues, and culture all while keeping it as real as possible. Today we're going to be doing a reaction to Tyson James' song Fight. Now this is his response to the assassination attempt on President Trump that occurred on July 13th of 2024. I enjoyed the song that Tom McDonald did for this and I believe we're going to enjoy this as well. I could not find the lyrics anywhere online, don't know why, but at least the video is still up on YouTube. So check that out. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that during the ramp up to the 2024 election, the Rogue Dermatologist and the Patriot Dad channel are collaborating to bring you another great deal. In in remembrance of the attempt on Trump's life, if you follow the link to trumpmug24.com, it'll take you straight here. Scroll down, add it to your cart, go to checkout, enter the code PDMUG, and you'll save 20%. Take advantage of this offer while it's still available. Now, back to the video. So make sure you support the channel in any way you can. Take advantage of that wonderful mug offer that the Rogue Dermatologist has designed for us. Also use our promo code when purchasing coffee from Coffee Brand Coffee. Support the channel in any way you can. I appreciate it. But let's get this video pulled up and let's get to responding, shall we? All right, hopefully it's clear. Like I said, we don't have lyrics, so let's get going. Witnesses describe loud popping sounds, and this is that moment when the former president reaches for his ear. I'm sitting on my porch. All right, before we even get started, we are starting off with a little bit of news audio. Oh, the mainstream media was so shameful when this first happened. They were saying, oh, the president fell. He just fell on stage. Oh, there was some popping sounds or fireworks or like there was a bunch of other just nonsense. Almost nobody in the mainstream media ran with the fact that this was an assassination attempt until they were forced to. Sounds and this is that moment when the former president reaches for his ear. I'm sitting on my porch, I get some breaking news. Trump shot, I heard the gunshots. Yo, this is crazy, dude. I see the video with Trump. He wants to take his shoes and hit a little different when they kill him because they hate your views. I don't know where you guys were. It's not really the same as the 9-11 moment. When 9-11 happened, I was in college. I was actually coming back from taking a shower and I saw, and I saw the news on someone's TV in their dorm room as I was walking by and I got pulled into the room. That was a crazy day. I was here at home working on scripts for videos when I opened up X. And what do I see? A few minutes ago, somebody had shot at our former president. I watched the video and I see it. I hear it. What does the media say? I started looking at the mainstream media and there was nothing. X was really the only place where I got good information that day. And it wasn't until everybody came out and said the truth and forced the media to change their narrative that they finally, finally covered the truth. We can't trust the media. We just can't anymore. They're making people bitter. If you disagree with their theology or Hitler, we can't coexist because every word you getting triggered. You can thank the media because they creating all these killers. But if you want to fight, best be careful what you wish. I kind of feel like God's on our side. He's in the midst. I heard it prophesied that you would shoot, but you would miss. And, then and guys, the media is causing so much division and hatred. It's insane. They are demonizing anybody that has anything to do with President Trump, and they are elevating anybody who talks badly about him or spreads hatred for him. The media came out and for two days after the attempt on his life, they said, we really need to tone down the rhetoric. We really need to not say all these things. And then within 48 hours, they were just right back to it. You can't trust him, guys. You just can't. God's on our side, he's in the midst. Okay. I heard it prophesied that you would shoot, but you would miss. And that Trump would win in 24, we'll see if it gonna stick. It's crazy when you think about the world and all the things that's going on. He told us in the Bible that it'd be like, no, it's time, best stay prayed up. I suggested everybody wake up. I'm riding for the Lord, I'll never change, my mind is made up. We got ops in our midst. They're shooting shots, but they missed. Ooh, yeah, guys, I don't know if you've actually watched the video. I hope at this point everybody has seen the video, but it was this close. It nicked his ear. If he had not turned his head just a little bit one way or the other, it'd be a totally different story. So do I think it's divine intervention? I don't know, but I do know that it was damn lucky that we didn't see another JFK incident live on television in high definition, 8,000 frames per second. They caught a picture of the bullet whizzing by. Crazy. If that kind of technology existed back with JFK, I don't think he'd want to see it. Change my mind is made up. We got ops in our midst. They're shooting shots, but they missed. Let's hope to God 
And we don't flip the switch You been plotting, no more talking now Cause everybody pissed and we gon' fight We gon' fight We gon' fight If I die, then I'm a Christ Look, only way we take it back is with the light We gotta fight We gotta fight gave me antifa vibes with a bum nerd yeah guys and the whole fight thing like like guys that image from that day that's gonna live on forever the crazy thing is the mainstream media tried to turn around and say look president trump is supporting violence guys they just shot at the man and he's saying we just gotta fight we gotta fight for the future of this country and it doesn't necessarily mean going out in the streets and committing violence. If you noticed in Milwaukee for the RNC, they didn't board up all the windows. They're already boarding up the windows in Chicago ahead of the DNC. So which group is it that actually supports violence? And then Tyson's comment here about the shooters Antifa vibes. That's like MK Ultra. It's like some weird, like, I don't know. But they're like, oh, he was a Repo he was a registered Republican. Yeah, it was actually a well-known thing that with an open primary, they had a lot of people change registrations to mess with Trump in the primary, just saying. You gotta sign some brand new pronouns Was work Look I know how to deal with evil Only one cure A couple kill shots And fully shooters Only one word You coward You think pulling the trigger It gave you power Or maybe inside job Like how they bomb them twin towers Man The devil gets inside these minds And he devours Great depression coming down And I'm just waiting for the showers But until then Yeah I'm a rap Christ I just gotta tip my hat to Trump Cause he about that life Man that boy got shot And stood right up and said to fight I'm just here to get you ready for what's coming down the pipe I take it as a sign yeah guys not many people in the world would get shot at like that and stand up and try and show everyone that they're okay and to fight they would just run he's just built different guys how many of us would have done the same the crowd didn't panic three people got shot one died in the crowd and there wasn't mass hysteria there wasn't a stampede they got the people the assistance they needed most people stayed fairly calm that says a lot it's not an easy thing to do i'm just here to get you ready for what's coming down the pipe i take it as a sign you better get ready for some bad times false flag feeling like we headed toward a landmine listen man and this is why i write i'm just here to get you ready for the fight are you ready for the fight we got ops Missed. They're shooting shots, but they missed. Let's hope to God that we don't flip the switch. You've been plotting, no more talking now, cause everybody pissed and we gon' fight. We gon' fight. We gon' fight. We gon fight. If I die, then I'm a Christ. Look, only way we take it back is with the light. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Yeah, you better get ready. And yeah, guys, we got to fight for the future of this country. That, that does not mean go out in the streets and commit acts of violence. That's not what that means at all. That means advocate our positions. That means stand up for the values that this country was built on. That means support friends, family, your neighbors, build communities again. Like, I don't know about you, but to me, it just doesn't really feel like this country anymore. Now, sure, we get to benefit from a lot of the freedoms that were designed into the country and our Constitution, but it seems like every year, more and more, those freedoms are being eroded, either for safety or for some other ambiguous thing, like the USA Patriot Act after 9-11. We just keep giving ground. We can't do that anymore. We've got to stand firm, and we've got to support the values that made this country great. If we don't, we're going to lose them, and it will not be a good outcome for the world. What I see coming is much bigger than anything we've ever seen in our whole life. Better stay prayed up, close to God. Yeah, definitely, guys. Definitely need to stay prayed up. Guys, we all need more Jesus. We just do. Like, where else are we going to get the values back from, if not from our religious founding? Our constitutional republic doesn't really work in an amoral society. And everybody stay safe out there. We may see false flags. We may see the mainstream media try and trigger people to do things that they would not normally do. We can't fall victim to that. We can't give in. Because all they're going to do is turn around and demonize us and say everything's our fault. Don't let it happen, guys. Stay vigilant and help each other. Thank you to those of you that made it to the end of this video. That was actually a lot of fun. Tyson James, his rap seems to be more Christ-centered, which, hey, we need more of. And it's always good to spread messages that are positive, not negative, not demonic. 
So show your support. Go watch the original video and support Tyson James's work. Support this channel any way that you can. There are, a bunch, there are links down in the description to show you how. Thank you to those of you that made it to the end of the video. I greatly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it and leave a comment below as it helps with the algorithm. Also, share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon so you can be notified when I upload additional content. If you have a recommendation for a future song you want to see reacted to on the channel, please leave it in a comment as the majority of the reaction content on this channel comes from viewer recommendations from people just like you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves and God bless. Go ahead and check out one of the links on the screen now to either subscribe to the channel and see the rest of the videos of the channel or one of the carefully selected videos that you may wish to see that YouTube has used its algorithm to select for you.